Thank you, uh, guys, uh, for showing around. Um, obviously, there's not so many of, of you. Um, I won't give a big speech. I won't tell you how good we are, how fancy we are, how much uh, positions we are, what are all the nice things that you can have when you join our company, etc., etc., etc. I don't. I mean, at data centers we have, or whatever it is that uh, the, we usually do when we do a recruiting speech. Um, um, I think it's most important for you to understand that today we are in a great shortage of engineers, uh, of data stuff, data science, okay, it's the big thing today. But for you, when you, you go look for a job, basically, you won't have a problem finding one, right? Uh, we are like the new, the new public sector in some in some sense. I don't know about the other countries, but in France, when you get in there, you basically have a life, uh, a lifetime job. And tech is basically becoming what this this uh, today. Um, so instead, what I like about this fact is that we have. You don't go into an interview anymore. Right when you when you go and we speak to someone, we have this has set a sort of equity between us, and and equity is good uh, because this is not anymore an interview. It's more like a matchmaking, right? It's just like a love affair in the sense um, you go on and you discuss with the people that you will see, and some of them you will bound you will bind pretty well, some not that much. And in the end, it's good because you will spend most of your time with these people, uh, be it physically or remotely. I don't think many of the other guys will say that they don't do remote as well. So it's becoming a granted fact, whether it's a bit in France or a bit in your own country, uh, because we are a French company, OK? Um, it doesn't matter that, that much. In the end, it's what kind of relationship are we going to build and are you going to build with us? And that's what you should look for, uh, actually, I think. Um, this is the equity that this shortage has brought us. I hope it stays, not the shortage, obviously. Uh, because it's, uh, it has some bad effects uh, as well. And just like recruiters were behaving like kings, now we can see also uh, recruitees behaving like princes. Uh, so this is not always a good thing as well. So just be yourself and try to find out what kind of company you will be able to remain yourself in. Okay. When you join a company, um, the first thing that we usually tend to do is to renounce, because we have we think that we have to fit in. Then we start renouncing some of the things that we stand for, and this is not matchmaking. You don't renounce yourself when you find your love partner for life, right? So at some point, I'm not saying that you will spend your life in, your, in the company that you will choose. Maybe not. But maybe the intention should be. And when it is, then just try to be yourself. And try to find out if the people in front of you are being themselves as well. And if that matches, and if the line of work that they do looks pretty good and interesting to you, go ahead. Then you have your principle, then you have to talk about what is your salary, blah, blah. Maybe it's the first thing that you, is important for you, and it's good for you. Um, maybe it's not, and maybe the recruiter will ask you about you, uh, will ask you for this at first. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but this tells something about you, and it tells something about the recruiter as well. So it's not about, I don't think. It, uh, in my opinion, that's not about what are all the fancy things that this company can, can, can offer to you. I will have to get rid of this. Um, but instead, 
please try to be yourself and make it a matchmaking, okay? I think usually at the end of the session we have open questions, so uh, if this is still the case, it, uh, it will be interesting, so uh, put yourself in this position. Don't be a princess and we are not kings. We are here to meet each other. You are not here to be interviewed. So the way you are, uh, you are discussing with us or the people that you will meet tells a lot about uh, them as it tells about you. That's pretty much it. Thanks. Yeah, at the end, we will have um, some time for questions for all sponsors. Okay. So okay. So this is the actual photo of the booth. We are over there. We are a French company based everywhere in the world. Blah, remote, blah, and that's fine. <laughs> okay, our core, our core is data. Also, we work with data and we make sense out of data. So if this is something that uh, attracts you in some way, you can come, have a chat. We have a fun quiz going on where you can win those, uh, those fur uh, snakes, and it's pretty fun. You have to, to, to team with each other this year. Every year, uh, we, we improve the game. So it's the five, fifth year that we are sponsoring EuroPython, and we are very pleased to do so. So just come, have a chat, and see if you can match make. All right? Thank you very much. hoping just to have our website it's in. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. There's no slides. Uh, why is that not going forward? Okay. Um, That's great. Thank you. Okay. Um, can I just ask very quickly? How many people had heard of SmartKits before EuroPython? Okay, <laughs> of course, Phil. <laughs> so, um, firstly, my name is Emma. Um, I'm SmartKits lead recruiter. Um, both myself and my colleague Phil uh, have come uh, from London, where we're headquartered. Um, we're sponsoring EuroPython for the first time. Hopefully, like long may that continue. I really hope that we can get our brand awareness out there and actually meet some great people um, and that more people will have heard of us. Um, we're a relatively young company in many ways. Technically, we're 10 years old, but the growth only really started about four years ago and things have really taken off since then. Um, I will explain what we do, but I think it would be nice to give like a very quick kind of like suppose history ish of the company. Um, we were founded in London, um, which makes me really happy to work for a company where um, you're headquartered in in Europe. Our founder is American; he's a former software engineer, um, and we were also well, actually we were founded by two uh, software engineers. Um, what we do is we basically provide an exchange where people can trade um, against each other on the outcome of events. Um, we operate like a stock exchange, yet we're easy to use. Um, and we started um, thinking that by operating in the betting industry, we could change an industry which had traditionally ripped people off. Um, and not provided a lot of transparency. So up until recently, we had the lowest commission on the market. Things are more competitive now, which is partly why we're here. We've built a great product, but now we're kind of focusing more on marketing. Um, I suppose in reverse to a lot of startups that look at marketing, kind of building their brand first, we thought, right, we'll make our product. Um, and then we're now continuing to scale it. And we're also launching um, a new product in the US. Um, so things are, uh, it's quite exciting at the moment because sports betting is being legalized in the US, which is going to mean lots of growth for us. Um, so we're building an office there, um, and but we're mainly we're hiring in, in Los Angeles um, and uh, in London. Um, I think I'm not going to tell you too much from a, a deep technical perspective because my background is, is in recruitment, but um, there are two things that make uh, Smarkets a special business and one that is quite unconventional. Um, one of those things is that we've adopted a style of management which is built on foundations of, of trust. Um, 
it's initially called teal that was where we started um, now we've kind of uh, evaluated what that means and as we've scaled we've had to scale what we mean by self-management um, but what it means to us is allowing people the freedom to make decisions that impact them um, and decisions that actually um, may not directly impact them so uh, an, an example is our town halls where our ceo um, I'll stand up and answer questions in front of the company and give updates on like our new product in LA and just any questions that people ask and there is a very kind of healthy debate and people are free to ask any types of questions um, there's no kind of fear of, of looking like I suppose upwards in the company and not feeling like you're allowed to to ask questions and be involved in things that do matter um, it also means that the teams get to uh, have the freedom to make a lot of decisions. It doesn't mean that you're free to do anything you want. You have to be responsible and work on the things that the company needs you to work on. Um, but it does mean that uh, compared to any company that I've worked for, there it's flatter in terms of organizational structure. And it means that um, people come to work and they're accountable for themselves. And I think that's the best way you can be. Um, so we give you the freedom to actually be creative. Um, and we give people time to contribute to things like open source. Obviously, we've sent a bunch of our engineers here, um, and we we want people to like invest in themselves. And so we don't have a, like, I suppose, specified time that you can go to conferences. We trust you to make decisions that are responsible. Um, the other thing is that we publish all of our salaries internally. And um, in recruiting, and I've been doing recruiting for the best part of 10 years, um, it is often about who can negotiate the best um, and your bargaining power. Um, at Smarkets, that does constrain us in some ways because when we hire people that come from industries which traditionally pay more, because we are operating in the fintech space, we do compete with, with banks um, and we look for candidates that come from great companies. Um, and we often uh, have to explain to people that we have a very fair process when it comes to pay. Um, we don't uh, pay people over the odds because they're better at negotiating. And some people, we've lost a few candidates because they're like, well, you know, I'm, I'm not really interested in that. But actually, for me personally, this is a step in the right direction for fair pay in all the ways that you can think about what fair, fair pay means. Um, we also have a process of salary review, which is that you put yourself forward for a salary review. Going back to the self-management thing that's, you know, basically deems you to be responsible for what you've achieved. So you and your team know what you've done. Um, and we don't have managers that can actually play favourites and, and give people, um, you know, a, a higher salary because they have a better relationship with a, a, a line manager. So it's not, you know, it, these are all things that I think are a step in the right direction for, for companies because to mention, to go back to the point that, um, that Numberly made, it is a two-way street, um, and I think that two of the things that we've decided to do which are different kind of show that we, we want it to be like that. Um, like I mentioned, we are mainly hiring in London and um, LA. Um, we're looking for software engineers of all different levels of experience. Smarkets is a great place to come at the start of your career because we have a very, very high bar when it comes to hiring. Um, people from great um, companies and, and great academic backgrounds. Um, and then the more experienced you are uh, and the more companies you've worked in, you'll really feel, like myself, um, the lack of bureaucracy um, that you might get in other companies. So there's, there's a lot of things that we're working on, like how we scale, what self-management means um, as we grow because we're bigger than we've ever been before um, and we've, we're growing year on year. Um, so these are all interesting things to come and be a part of. Um, but we, we hire smart people who we can drop into any team and who'll be successful. Um, as we grow, we're hiring one or two more specialist people on the likes of data engineering, infrastructure. Um, we do our own market making as well. So if you're interested in um, those types of challenges relating to financial technology, but not working in a company where we have a finance culture, then um, you should definitely come and talk to us. Um, we did build an escape room um, for people to come and try. We thought about doing something a bit different. Um, so for those of you, hopefully some of you have, have participated in it, we actually didn't get a go. Uh, our employees, all the slots went. Um, but do come and talk to us. Um, we've got some good swag and some nice people, so you can kind of, uh, you can just see what we're about and if, it, if it's for you. Great. Um, next, can we have Jeff Rains and then I'll do Dave.
it's about enough for that. I'm just walking down a, a list that I was given. Maybe two. Hi, my name is Dmitry. I'm team lead of uh, PyCharm. Uh, I work for JetBrains. Uh, do you know who knows about JetBrains? Like JetBrains is a company who makes uh, tools for software developers. We are kind of focused uh, on uh, that area, and uh, uh, the company is 18 years old already, and we have a very big expertise in this field. We make a lot of tools, and. Uh, we have uh, an office in a nice city in Germany called Munich, near the Bavarian Alps. And uh, what is working for JetBrains? Like, uh, we are the company who, work, uh, who makes products for software developers. And our strength is that uh, like we uh, are software developers ourselves. We make products for people like us. So in JetBrains, everybody codes. Like our SEO write, write code on the daily basis, so we don't have managers who just like uh, draw charts and make meetings. So everybody write code, uh, writes code, and uh, we have no bureaucracy at all. We are a very flat uh, organization. Uh, we have flexible hours. Uh, uh, we try to endorse um, uh, the new projects. So we have 20% projects. Uh, whatever position you have, you can spend your time on contributing to open source or making whatever product you want. And uh, that is very appreciated. And uh, we have a lot of perks uh, in the office. And we attend a lot of conferences. And we make internal con conferences as well. And uh, who we are looking for, we are hiring uh, currently for PyCharm team, we are looking for software developers. Uh, uh, PyCharm is written uh, in Java and Kotlin, so you uh, will have to work with JVM, but if you don't know JVM, uh, Java or Kotlin right now, but your, your knowledge of Python is, is very, uh, you know Python very good, so, and you want to learn Kotlin or Java, so you're very welcome. Also, we are looking for people on uh, positions that are very close to development, because as we are working with software developer, uh, even support engineers and queue engineers, they actually write code and they have to understand the frameworks and uh, a lot of technologies. And we're looking for uh, support engineers, uh, for example. If you uh, love uh, developing the software, if you love uh, writing code, but you want to uh, talk to people more to solve different problems, uh, that is the position you might be interested in. And if you also like software development, but you want to learn a lot of technologies, a lot of setups, a lot of frameworks, QA engineer is position for you because uh, uh, working as a QA engineer for PyCharm means that you need to learn like everything. You need to learn all, all the ways Docker can be set up, all the web frameworks that, are, that exist and so and so on. If you want to know details, I, I won't talk a lot uh, here. If you want to uh, know details, please come to our booth and uh, I will answer all the questions and explain everything you would like to learn. Thank you. And then after we'll have kiwi.com. Do you have uh, my slides already? Or? Um, do you want to choose
<laughs> Thanks. Yes, sorry for that. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I am uh, Abraham. Uh, I am, sorry, the recruiter for the R&D office in Paris. Um, so I will talk to you about Datadog, so what we do, what we are. Uh, basically, do you know what Datadog is? Somebody knows? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you know. Okay, cool. So you are a monitoring platform. Uh, we monitor applications, infrastructure logs. So we have an agent that collects all the traces, matrix, uh, logs. Uh, we provide dashboards uh, and the, 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 all the visualization. So you can have a full view of all the stacks uh, of your system. Uh, you can set up other things. It's pretty customizable. Um, and now we are growing pretty fast. Uh, we are like 600. We doubled the size from last year. We are on the same trend for next year. Uh, with a lot of uh, technical challenges, um, we manage like 40 million data points per second. We manage uh, several petabytes on S3. Um, so for that, we, we are hiring uh, new people. Uh, in every team, actually. Uh, so here are the, 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 the positions we have, uh, mostly on the back-end side. Uh, so since we are in all of Python, so I guess a lot of you people use Python. Uh, actually, we uh, use Python more on the yeah, open source uh, side, so on the APM side, so the application performance management monitoring um, to all the uh, libraries we inject to uh, collect the traces on Python applications. Uh, we use also Python for the agent, the core agent that collect the metrics. Uh, and for the other positions, it's mostly Go, uh, Java uh, for the back end, uh, Kafka, Scala, Spark, uh, for all the data engineering stuff. Uh, and from the front end, we use mostly React uh, and D3. Um, but since we are technology agnostic, uh, there is no, uh, no problem if you have no uh, skills on, on, on uh, technologies outside Python. Uh, because what we are looking for is people that have uh, experience uh, with uh, large-scale uh, uh, environment uh, and uh, have the, the right mindset to, to adapt quickly on, on other technologies. So uh, that's what we are looking for now. Uh, here are all the, the technologies we use. So that's a lot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can, if you want more information about us, I think it's better to come to our booth. You can have a demo, uh, you can talk to myself or our engineers to have more information on, the, on our stack uh, and, and, and the company. Uh, what I want to add also about the culture of Datadog is that uh, we are growing pretty fast. Uh, we are 600 now, uh, 700 uh, in fact. Uh, sorry for that. <laughs> uh, and we still keep this startup mindset. So give space for our engineers to, 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 uh, to take initiatives, uh, make them feel have an impact uh, too. Um, because we have distributed teams between Paris and New York, so the second uh, R&D uh, center. Uh, we have small feature teams, um, like five to six people. Uh, and pragmatism also is really important for us. So trying to be the most efficient, uh, taking the, the, the right decision and putting aside all the accessory stuff. Uh, so everybody has the same goal and work in a really collaborative way inside the R&D, even outside the R&D. Uh, 
so with recruitment, with marketing, uh, and it's pretty great to have this kind of environment uh, because you, 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 you know that if you need help, if you have an idea that is great, that can bring value to the company, processes, tools, uh, you will always have the, the support uh, to, to, of your management and of other teams. So yeah, that's what I wanted to add. Thank you very much. I think so. Not in mirroring it as soon as you uh, need to go to your system settings. I think I jinxed it by saying that, right? Hello guys, my name is Jirka Kanechas and I'm working for Kiwi.com in community team. So that means I'm not a recruiter. We left them at home this year of Europython. And do you know what Kiwi.com does? Anybody? Yeah, so we are online travel agency and we are all a flight ticket search engine. So that means, and we are unique in the way, that we are combining all the flight tickets and all the airlines, uh, which even those which don't cooperate with each other. So, for example, Vizair or Ryanair. So that means that if you would like to travel from Prague to Porto, for, for example, the direct flight will be really expensive. But we process huge amount of data, so we know that if you, if you will travel first from Prague to Milan, and then from Milan to Porto, it will be three times cheaper. So that we, that's what we are doing, like trying to give you the best solution for your travel. And for this, we are using a huge amount of data, we are processing it, and 
uh, that's we, why we need developers. We are be, we are working like on 95% on Python, and f only for some features we are using C++. So that means we of course hiring Python developers, and we are based right now in Czech Republic, in Brno and Prague, but but also we have offices in Barcelona, Split, Bratislava, or right now we open also in Zagreb. And I will be quick, why should you visit our booth today? We prepared special Python quiz. Uh, you can see the QR code over here. And if you will solve it, we, we are organizing tonight social event and party. So if you will solve it right, uh, we will send you the invitation for the party. There will be free drinks and free food. So feel free to join us and you can just uh, talk with our guys who are working uh, at kiwi.com also like with me and we will tell you more about this. And also you can win 300 euro voucher over there. So see you at the, our booth. Thanks. So thank you everyone for attending. Uh, we know it's really difficult to compete with the other cool sessions, so we appreciate it a lot. Thank you. So let, uh, let me introduce Maria, our talent manager. Uh, my name is Ivan. I'm the VP of engineering. So we are on track and let's go to the point. Okay, so uh, first of all, we yesterday we were receiving a lot of questions but there was like a question who was like consistently uh, arising and so any guess about what what could be the question technology one i don't know our company can you guess someone no yeah so unexpectedly it's this one Right? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody was like, what the hell is this? Like, we, we got one Twitter, thanks on track for this Europython 2018 gift, but what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, so it was like, okay. So everyone, some, someone know what it is? Yeah? So raise your hands, you know? Be careful then with yeah. your screen. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, basically it's this uh, really useful gadget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. okay, so uh, let me explain really quickly what is our business. So basically our business is to make these people happy. These people are the truck drivers, okay? So how we do this is uh, by moving pallets uh, from our shippers. So our clients are just the companies we need to move loads from one point to another. So we have a platform, a marketplace that uh, make this much easier for shippers and the truck drivers. This is basically our, our business. And we have two goals. So first of all, make the freight transport more efficient, end-to-end -end process from the uh, first activity to the last one and for sure build one of the best uh, engineering and product teams in the world. Okay, so regarding the team, um, we are 120 people and we have 24 nationalities. We have a sponsorship program, so uh, we, we like uh, diversity and we, of course, we are hiding. Okay, so of those people, the 40% of of them are from tech and product. Like basically we are a technological uh, company. And you know, this is like a cliche, but we are a product oriented company, like for real. 
Like our engineers, for example, here there is an example, Dimitri, uh, who is from uh, Moldova. He uh, is a backend engineer. He's optimizing, he's working on optimizing the routes. And the first thing that he did is participating in the whole uh, product development process. So he was spending one day with uh, one of our drivers. And uh, of course, we celebrate uh, success. This is a picture like of, of uh, last week. Congratulations, guys, for the deployment. Uh, it was a big project, and uh, we launched a, a, a really awesome feature um, who is going to have a great impact. Uh, so we were celebrating that. And of course, we celebrate mistakes. Celebrate, you know, like we learn about uh, everything. Here are some um, uh, pictures of the retros that we have. We're really agile. Like we take the things that they are not working, we iterate and we change things. So it's like a good environment to work. And um, as we are small, uh, it feels like you are, you know, we are a family and of course we have fun. Um, every quarter we have an outside. This is the picture from the last one. And we were killing zombies in, in a VR and it was really fun. Okay, so why Madrid? We are based in Madrid. Uh, I didn't uh, say that. Um, we have um, an awesome office in the city center and why Madrid is because it's the new uh, tech hub. It's, it's, it's a really nice city. Uh, there are a lot of uh, startups. Um, on track is one of them, but Cabify, um, we have uh, Sport at Home, and uh, it's really nice. We have the best weather. That's why we are giving away glasses. Like, no, no rain, you don't need to be worried about like the weather is awesome during um, the whole year. And you know, one thing that when it comes to Spain, there are a lot of engineers who said, oh yeah, but you know, uh, salaries, whatever. No, um, as we are having more startups, this is changing, so we don't pay peanuts. We want to build the best team, so we pay accordingly. and. In Spain, people are nice, very open, so you are not gonna feel like uh, an outsider. So if you visit Madrid and you can ping us, uh, we, will show, we will show you around and um, you can visit our offices. Yeah, sorry, we are out of time. That's 10 seconds because I feel I need to at least put the text stack. <laughs> so uh, now we are here, so more or less, uh, uh, all is well known, so Python, da Django, Do, Flask, whatever. Uh, on the client side, we have native applications and React and Redux, but, uh, and, and all things like Ansible, Tableau, and, and Digital Ocean. But uh, we want to, this is just one step, we want to be there. Uh, we are working hard to be in something like this. Uh, this is work in progress. So, and for sure, we are hiding, especially back end and full stack engineering. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, um, thanks for coming. And this is Yelp, and I'm Yanni, a full stack engineer at Yelp. And let me tell you a little bit more about our company. So our business is very simple. We wanna connect people with great local businesses. There's one important question that we wanna solve. Guess what it is? What's for dinner? <laughs> so that's like one of the things that we started with. Um, you can look up a business profile. Um, there are very useful information um, for example, business hours, especially people's reviews, you know, whether they recommend this place or not, um, and videos and uh, photos for you to decide what's for dinner. And that's a very important thing that I keep on thinking about. So if you're not someone who is planning ahead and look at web, you can also download our mobile app and it basically shows you a map 
and you can just find out what kind of places you want to go. And for me, Scottish is probably um, the thing because I've never been to Edinburgh before. So that's a little bit more about our product. And now let's talk about the traffic. So we actually have a lot of people visiting our website and also mobile app every month. And um, some things that I want to highlight here is the impact that you will have at Yelp. So every time you push code into production, these are the people that you're impacting. And it's not just these people, because in Hamburg, we're also working with business owners. So you're also impacting the lives of business owners who are looking to find consumers to go to their restaurants or their businesses. So that's the first thing I want to highlight. At the same time, it's the amount of learning opportunities. So we have um, over 500 developers now. We're getting a, uh, becoming a really big company here. Um, just imagine the things that you can learn from the people all over the, all over the world. We have offices in London, in Hamburg, in San Francisco. If you want to know like, more of a, a new tech stack or something, there's always someone who's um, better at, than you than at these kind of things. So you can learn from them on these kind of things. And another thing I want to highlight is the responsibility. So like, um, I think you mentioned the term of like, tech agno agnostic. Um, so here, we also feel the same. So if you're um, good enough to get a job, and basically, you can just learn everything at the job. And basically, I was entrusted with the responsibility to lead a front-end team to start a React project, even though before, I didn't really have this experience. So I'm really grateful to have the responsibility and the opportunity to learn at Yelp. And more about our offices. We have a lovely office in Hamburg, that's where I work, and also London. And we have different focuses. So in Hamburg, we focus more on development and product teams. And in London, it's more about operations, infrastructure, and security teams. So specifically, who are we looking for? All of you. Um, in Hamburg, we want to focus on web. Um, so that's basically Python and JavaScript, and also backend. Um, at Yelp, we're a Python store. So there are plenty of opportunities and challenges for you to deal with. Imagine the data that we have. And also university and graduates um, and interns, product managers, and data science. In London, we're looking for people in distributed systems, SRE, and also security. And um, just want to go through this list real quick while we offer. We have a really international and diverse environment. Um, let me think about, you know, in our office, we have people from Russia, from Hong Kong, that's me, um, from China. Um, there are people from, um, from France, Italy, um, to Jordan, Egypt. Like, it's really everywhere from the world and the US. Um, but don't worry if you're international, because we'll help with visa sponsorship and also relocation. We have regular hackathons. Unfortunately, we are missing one right now because we're at EuroPython, so that's, uh, you know, next time, hopefully, it's another week. Um, you can do really fun things from Indian cooking to building a new app, video game, um, I don't know, there are a lot of things that people do. And also learning groups that people can just present on things that they're passionate about. For example, we had a learning group on skydiving, um, on, uh, I don't know, serving, other things you can think of. Flexible hours and meeting three Thursday that we really adhere to. Our equity and pension plan that is competitive. Transportation and wellness stipend. Uh, so you really need that wellness stipend to get your gym because we also have free snacks, a lot of drinks, and free fruits, and I mean it. Um, so one thing that actually brings me to work every day at Yelp is the people. So one thing that I think we do well is our open environment and also being inclusive. That's one thing I'm really proud of working at Yelp. And another thing is our great mentorship program. Say if you're a new hire or maybe an intern coming in, uh, there will be a mentor that gets assigned to you. So this person is not only the person who is teaching you about technical stuff or walking you through the tech stack. This person also helps you integrate with the office environment, helping you get settled in Hamburg, or also we have our relocation plan that can get you an apartment, or if you're a little bit more ambitious, a house in Hamburg or London. <laughs> so. Um, if you want to know more about what we work on on the technical side, we actually have four talks during EuroPython. Um, uh, the first two, I think it's already um, passed, so you can look it up online. There are two um, with type annotations with Stefan, um, he's right here, and also productionalizing your ML code with Loris. So looking forward to see you there. Um, these are our me uh, social media channels that you can uh, look up, and also we'll be at the booth, so hope to see you there. Thank you. Okay, um, thanks to everyone. Um, I'm afraid we've actually run out of time, so I'm not going to have time for the Q&A. Um, 
that's mostly due to the technical issues at the beginning, so sorry about that. Um, but I encourage everyone to go and speak to the sponsors at their booths um, and yeah, see what they've got to offer, ask your questions there. And yeah, thanks everyone for sharing again. All right, cheers.